or arrest them, or maybe all three. It's okay, Mrs. B. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Ah. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm going to ask you to deal with a problem. And you're going to deal with it. Or you're not going to deal with it, and you're going to be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's going to be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know. Get on the commission. Now, the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pegorino. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. Huh. Oh, boss. Salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is going to talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. Jimmy's on his way. Nico, right? Skipper said you'd be driving. The sit-down's over at the old refinery in the Actor Industrial Park. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! Nico, this is Pete and Marco. Guys, Nico. He's the one who's been keeping Ray from drowning in a pile of shit. What the fuck is up with the diamonds? I don't know. I was just doing what Ray told me. I didn't get where I am by believing what every schmuck told me. You ain't the type of guy to follow orders if they ain't your interest. You're a smart guy, Skipper. Shut up, Pete. I'm surprised he can even speak when your lips are always puckered up kissing my ass. Ray was helping me out with something, so I helped him with the diamonds. I ain't gonna do shit for him, though. I don't like the way he does business. Things got too complicated. Damn right they did. Dad Ice was a real fuck-up. Ray didn't go through the correct channels. I who owned the diamonds, Gay Tony, is in with the enchiladas. A lot of people said those diamonds were theirs. Tell me about it. But I don't give a shit about them other people. What I'm worried about is our involvement with getting back to Gay Tony and his connections. We got a lot riding on this meeting with the Pavanos. Want to keep relations sweet with at least one of the families that got a seat on the commission. You're going to get a seat on that commission real soon, ain't you, boss? About time, Alden, you got some representation in the city. Don't tell me what's due to me. 
I've been waiting for this and working hard for this for years. All that ain't worth nothing without me. My old man, God rest his soul, didn't have the balls to bring the family to the level I got it to. I'm gonna get that seat because of what I done. Sit down next to John Gravelli if he survives that long, and run all of Liberty City. The whole country, maybe. The Pavanos, are they gonna offer you a seat then? They can't give me a seat, but they can help me get one. Ain't nobody been given a seat since the commission got founded. Shit. But times has changed. Since Rico, the commission ain't the same. Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over the meat. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason. Stop! I'm hurting here! The fucking 
Paveros! If the rest of the Commission knew they did this! I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers try to whack me at a sit-down! We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico! Alright, let's get these slime ball bastards! People like that give a guy a bad day. Whatever happened to the honor society and all that shit? Can't say I know. They didn't even send a fucking capo. This is a declaration of war. The Pagarinos and the Pavanos are hitting the mattresses. You heard it here first. I saw it from the scope on that rifle. We're gonna get that gift back and make this crew pay for their disrespect. Come on! Go. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. Fuck the fucking road! I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alderney. Even if it don't, an El Dog would. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position. Either because they know too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. The only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. 
I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. You don't do too well for the reputation of us Pecorinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci.